We're up into the 80s this afternoon with a few passing showers or storms. Not everyone's going to see them this afternoon, but anything that we do see, a couple of brief heavier downpours will be a possibility with the higher humidity in place. This will be the beginnings of the end of that humidity, which lessens greatly later tonight and will set up some sunny and less humid temperatures for us as we go through the day on Friday and Saturday. We'll start adding some clouds Sunday and the better chances of rain really start to return as we work our way into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So dew points above 60 will be the fuel for any sort of showers or storms and approaching front from the west will be the focusing mechanism for those showers and storms. Best chance of anything more organized will be after two o'clock this afternoon in that darker green shade you're seeing there. Although a chance of a passing thunderstorm is a possibility anywhere across the state as that front makes its way through, it really minimizes by the time we get past five or 6 o'clock this evening. Lows will be either side of 60 overnight as the humidity comes down. Any early clouds to sunshine on our Friday and what should be a great travel day across New England uh, heading into the holiday weekend. 50s for lows, highs in the afternoon on Saturday, climbing back to right around 80 degrees. We should be in the 70s on Sunday after mostly sunny skies Saturday, partly sunny skies Sunday with a pop up shower possible in the afternoon and then a better rain chance for us Monday remains to be seen exactly how early in the day those showers will be arriving. So if you have outdoor plans for Monday, the advice right now is to kind of just check in occasionally along the way for the timing on that rainfall. For the time being, though, Saturday looks like a winner of a day and a lot more reliable on Sunday as well compared to Monday.